Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about fish feeding system. So, let's look at the example first. Fish feeding system. The system should dispense three types of food for five seconds after every 15 seconds. It will dispense food only if there is movement of fishes in the near water. So in this case, there will be a sensor which will detect the movement of fishes. And there will be three valves that will dispense three types of food. The valves will remain for five seconds each. And firstly, Valve 1 will open to dispense type 1 food. Then after valve 1, valve 2 will open and it will be open for 5 seconds. And then valve 3 will open for 5 seconds. And after all of these 3 uh, valves, it will wait for 15 seconds. And after 15 seconds, it will dispense food again. Then wall 1, wall 2 and wall 3 will open for 5 seconds each and then it will wait again for 15 seconds and then it will repeat this process every 15 seconds. So, let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram and use normally open contacts, normally closed contacts. We will also use some memory bits and we will also use functional block timers like TP and T on. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here, is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line, where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. 
I can also set it as Modbus ASC II, TMS 2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMS 2GDB for now. And then I will click on Apply. So if I keep protocol as TMS 2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on Programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode. I can also click on this option to unset full screen mode. So for now, I will set the full screen mode. And then I can also zoom into it like this. I can also zoom out like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0 and I will also add symbol to it as start button yes and then I will insert one more normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0.1 I will also add symbol to it as sensor yes so the sensor will detect the movement of fishes near the water and then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M0 which is a memory bit so this memory bit will store the status of start button as well as the sensor and then we will use this memory bit in another rung. So I will click on add a new rung here and insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as same as this memory bit that is M0. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as Q0.0. I will also add symbol to it as Val 1. So this Val 1 will dispense type 1 food. So when start button is turned on and the sensor detects that the movement of fishes near the water, when both of these get activated, when both of these are true, then M0 becomes true. And when M0 becomes true, Val 1 will open and it should remain open for 5 seconds only. So for that, I will insert a functional block timer here for Val1 and it should be TP pulse timer that will make this Val1 open for 5 seconds. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 5 and then click on apply. So when M0 gets activated, Val1 will open for 5 seconds. And then I will add a new rung here. And I will insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as M0. I will also use a normally closed contact and I will assign address to it as this val1 that is Q0.0. So when uh, M0 is true and val1 is closed, val1 is false, then val2 should open. So I will insert one more coil here and I will assign address to it as Q0.1. I will also add symbol to it as valve2. 
yes so valve one will be open for five seconds and when valve one becomes false and m0 is already true then the current will flow through it and valve one will open but this valve one should remain open for five seconds so we will use another timer for valve two and that should be pulse timer that is tp i will change time base to one second and preset value as five and then click on apply so valve two will remain open for five seconds and after valve one and then I will add a new rank here for valve 3. I will insert one normally open contact and two normally close contacts. And then a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M0 which is storing the status of start button and the sensor and then i will assign address to this normally closed contact as q 0.0, .0 that is valve 1 and i will also add address to this normally closed contact as q 0.1 which is valve 2 and i will also add address to this uh, to this coil as q 0.2 I will also add symbol to it as valve 3. Yes. So, when start button is turned on and the sensor detects the movement of fishes near the water, then M0 becomes true. And when M0 becomes true, valve 1 will open for 5 seconds. As already M0 is true, and then after valve 1 closes so the current will flow through it valve 1 is false after 5 seconds and after 5 seconds the current will flow through it and valve 2 will open for 5 seconds as m1 is already true and valve 1 is false at it has been closed and then valve 2 also becomes false after 5 seconds so after five another five seconds m0 is true the current will flow through it valve one and valve two both are closed the current will flow through it and valve three turns on and it should remain open for five seconds so for this i will insert one more timer and it should be tp pulse timer i will change time base to one second tp and time base to one second and preset value as five and then click on apply so valve valve three will remain open for five seconds and then so five seconds for valve one five seconds for valve two and Five seconds for valve 3 so this process will take 15 seconds and after these 15 seconds the system should wait for another 15 seconds and then it will repeat this process again so for that I will add a new rung and I will insert normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M0, which is a memory bit which is storing the status of start button and the sensor. And then I will use a timer T on here. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 30 so that it will wait for another 15 seconds 
and then I will insert a coil. I will assign address to this coil as M1, which is another memory bit. And then we will use this M1 to repeat the process. So we will use this M1 here. So I will insert a normally closed contact here and I will assign address to it as M1. So when start button is pressed and sensor is detecting the movement of fissures, then M0 will get activated and when M0 gets true, valve 1 will open for 5 seconds and after valve 1 becomes false, valve 2 will open for 5 seconds and after valve 2, valve 3 will open for another 5 seconds and it will wait for another 15 seconds and then again it will repeat the process again. So I will exit full screen mode, I will compile the program And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. I will start controller to do so click OK. Then I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on start button and the sensor detects a moment of fishes near the water then M0 gets true and when M0 gets true valve 1 will open for 5 seconds and after that Val 2 will open for another 5 seconds and after that Val 3 will open for another 5 seconds and after that it will wait for another 15 seconds. So after another 15 seconds, it will repeat the process that valve 1 will open for 5 seconds, then valve 2 will open for 5 seconds and then valve 3 will open for another 5 seconds. And after that, it will wait for another 15 seconds and then it will repeat this process. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.